this is Adam again. Thank you for stopping by my channel today. I do hope all you had a chipper and blessed day. Today I'm gonna to do my uh, BGS autograph submission reveal. And this was through the uh, March group submission by Brandon Stebbins, a great and awesome YouTuber that uh, does this for the community. So huge props and thanks to him. And I'll leave the link to his awesome channel down in the description. You take the time to go check them out for me. I'd greatly appreciate it. So let's uh, get into what we have here. So uh, just a little backdrop on this. This is 17 Hall of Fame rookie cards. So my mindset is I love collecting Hall of Fame rookie cards. But I also like collecting Hall of Fame autographs. So what's better than either one of those is Hall of Fame rookie cards with autographs. And I got 17 of these bad boys here. So let's get to sharing and showing these beauties out. Alrighty, and the last tidbit about all these autographs is I got all these beauties through the mail. So yes, this beautiful 1971 Topps, Burt Bly 11, and all these others was through the mail autographs. I sent the cards out with the appropriate fees and got them back. So like this Burt Bly 11 was a $20 fee plus the card, and bam, Hall of Fame rookie card with the autograph. Now I do have a raw version of this card with the autograph on it as well. So I will be doing a giveaway here soon, my 755 subscriber giveaway. If you'd be interested in winning that, plus some other really cool prizes, please check out that video to come. All right, the next return through the mail autograph style, authenticated now, is Mr. Wade Boggs. His fee is $10 per now, and I uh, got him on the beautiful 83 Tops rookie card. Love the chicken man. This dude could hit the ball. One of the best hitters of all time. The next return is going to be probably my most scariest uh, TTM that I've ever done before, Mr. Steve Carlton. This card is not a cheap card, and uh, and I didn't want to lose it. Uh, so I was pretty uh, nervous about sending this off, but I wanted it uh, really bad aut autograph. So I did um, sit there and gamble and got that beauty back, the 1965 Topps Rookie Stars. And he's $45 through a private signer. You know, $45 for that card. I sat there and uh, said yes. Said yes. This next one is going to be Mr. Andre Dawson. Got him on the beautiful four-player rookie card here, though. And uh, he is uh, $10 per. I uh, got him on this uh, 77 tops. Love it, love it. Thank you, Mr. Hawk. One of my favorite players growing up to watch him and Rhino. Um, it was very fun to watch those Cubs play. This next one is Dennis Eckersley on the 1976 Tops. And I just loved watching those A's. And uh, you had the uh, Bash Brothers, and then you had uh, him and Stewart and some of the other pitchers on that squad to sit there. And I uh, love that uh, team, Storm Davis and some other ones too, uh, Bob Welch and so on and so forth. Love that A's team back in the day. The next one is going to be Mr. Raleigh Fingers on the uh, 69 Tops. Raleigh Fingers without the mustache. So that's a pretty cool picture. Everybody looks at it and so they say, where's the mustache? <laughs> All right, this next one is going to be Goose Gossage. And what's nuts or crazy is uh, this guy will sign free as long as you only send one per. Uh, Raleigh Fingers was 15. Dennis Eckersley is 10 bucks. Goose Gossage is free. And I got him on his 73 Tops rookie card, which is also my birth year. One of my favorite sets because of that. And uh, Goose Gossage has one of the most beautiful autographs in the business. I love that autograph. Bam. All right. The next one is Whitey Herzog, Hall of Fame manager. So I loved watching the Cardinals play back in the day. Their double-A farm team was in Arkansas, which is where I live. And uh, loved watching many of those great Cardinals come through there and, uh, and eventually become Cardinals. So, bam. All right. Get into this next stack now. See what this first one is. A recently uh, newer Hall of Famer, Mr. Jim Cott. Love that 1960 Tops card there. Bam. This next one is going to be Tony La Russa, Another one of those favorite managers. Loved watching him uh, sit there with the A's and then eventually with the Cardinals. And uh, most recently, even with the White Sox again. 
So I uh, got the beautiful 1964 tops. Just that card looks nice. I love the 64 set as well. A great set for autographs. This next return is going to be Mr. Bill Mazeroski. Got him on his rookie card, the 57 tops. And what's crazy is I'm only the 64 and the 72 from being away from his full playing day run uh, with autographs on him. So I'm missing two more cards to complete that run to have his whole playing day run autographs. Can't wait to get those last two cards uh, back and, uh, and complete that task. So the next one is going to be Moose, Mike Messina, Hall of Fame 19 for the Baltimore Orioles there. He also played for the Yankees. Loved watching him uh, with the Yanks as well. 1991 score. Boom. That's probably my favorite rookie card of his. I do have his other rookie cards as well autographed, but I just love the colors in that one and uh, the first round draft pick uh, logo up there. So that's my favorite rookie card of his. This next one is going to be Jim Palmer. And I love this for the significance that Jim Palmer and Steve Garvey was my two, my dad's two favorite players. And uh, my dad's passed away as well. So, you know, just anything that kind of brings back memories to where I can think about my dad adds significance to me, if you know what I mean. So every time I see a Jim Palmer card, I think of my pops. And so I love Jim Palmer. I love that rookie card as well. Bam. The next one going to be Mr. Gaylord Perry. Rest in peace. Uh, Mr. Perry didn't do me a very solid. That card was mint right there. And uh, he decided uh, to allow something sticky to get on it. And then it sat there and stuck to the, uh, whatchamacallit, and got tore or whatnot. And uh, wasn't happy about it. But I was always sitting there telling myself I was going to try to find another one of these cards. And I uh, sent him back out to him, but never got the chance before he passed away. But I did get like a reprint version of this card. It looks pretty nice. Uh, I do have that in my collection, I guess, as a, as a token. But got Mr. Gaylord Perry. Great, great picture. This next return is Mr. Rhino. Got him on the OPG. Love the OPG set. Makes it a little bit more rare or whatnot. And I just love that. Uh, I like tops too, but, you know, it's pretty cool. Sit there and, uh, of course, going back to the Hawk, great duo those two were on the Cubbies. Loved watching him. One of the greatest second basemen of all time. This next one is going to be an underrated Hall of Famer. Mr. Lee Smith was a beast at closing and uh, very deserving of being a Hall of Famer on this beautiful 82 tops. All right. We made it to the last card. Do you think you know who it is? Got to be at least uh, somebody with the name Smith or later in the alphabet. Who's it going to be? Larry Walker. And boom, got him on the beautiful 1990 Donruss. Now, he will inscribe it unless you sit there and send, I think, a $25 fee, and then he won't. But he also at least always inscribes it with his Hall of Fame year as well, so that's pretty cool. And how fitting, I'm stopping on a 1990 Donruss in honor of Brandon Stevens. He's trying to complete this whole set autograph, and I think he's down to not very many left to complete that set. That's pretty nuts. Uh, he's got all of them autographed nearly already. Probably going to be able to complete the set someday, too, and that's uh, a milestone. So congrats on that, Brandon. Thank you once again for this awesome submission that you did uh, for the uh, community. Uh, hopefully you all enjoyed the show. Uh, I know it's going to be hard to maybe pick out one or two of your favorites, but if you do, Please let me know down in the chat. I do appreciate y'all watching this video. Please take care and stay chipper, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye. Now.